hello hello go getters welcome back to my youtube channel yes of course i do remember i have rebranded so welcome back to my youtube channel my name is manager mamatiba aka the go getter so i'm coming right back at you with another book review i'm so excited about this one uh, yeah i went through a lot of emotions when I was reading this book, but nonetheless, I managed to go through it, finish it, and today I'm going to give you a book review. The book is titled ba, 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 The Four Hour Work Week by Timothy Ferris. So, you know, for me to read this book, I've been hearing about it, people have been raving about it. I was like, I got to get my hand on that book. I remember there's one particular guy on YouTube. I forgot his name he was like it was good because it gives you time management tips and very strategic overall so i was like hmm you know i like strategy so let me let me get that book what it's about for our week week because i'm like i can really optimize i could do better in terms of my time and i think this is the book that will give me the advice that i need in order for me to level up my time management game so yes that's why i got the book and yeah, today I'm about to tell you what it's actually all about. So generally this book, ne, um, it has a lot of different things, but I would definitely say it's more entrepreneurial focused because it does give a lot of advice in terms of like product development, optimizing as an entrepreneur, venturing out into the entrepreneurial journey as an individual. So it really covers a lot of different things. So because I was more interested in the time management stuff, I felt like the entrepreneurial stuff were not for me particularly at this moment. Hence, I didn't focus too much on them. So I took the lessons that were related to me and what I wanted to know, which is about time management and maximizing my time for sure. Right. So this book has been outlined into four steps. Right. So the first step is definition right so you have to define what it is that you want what is it that you want to achieve right and then the second step you have to eliminate so i think this is one of my favorite steps because it tells you how to maximize you know some things that we do in our lives are not really important so we could definitely eliminate them and then um step number three is talking about automation you guys know i'm the girl for the automation any machine i can get to make my life easy I'm going to get it. Anything I can do to make my life easy and automate, honey, I'm coming for it. And the last step is liberation. So how all these things will get you to be liberated and what you can do and achieve when you are on a liberation level, right? So I'm mainly going to focus on the elimination steps. However, he does deal a lot in terms of, you know, as I said, product development, marketing, you know, just making the most and ensuring that you have a great business. That's wonderful. He also tells you about your strengths and how you can use that to your advantage, especially in the entrepreneurial space. So that's what you know, he focused, focused on and dealt with. But I'm not going to go into that part. I think if you're an entrepreneur and you want to, you know, learn more on how to maximize, how to grow your product or how to get a new product out in the market, this is the book for you. However, I'm going to focus on the elimination and automation. So the one biggest thing that I learned today, and I'm going to show you how I get to implement what I learned in a book, right? So he talks about automation, guys and how we should get to like take the things that waste our time find a way to get them out of the way which is part of automation find a way to get them out of the way in order for you to maximize on things that bring you value things that bring you reward satisfaction whatever it is that you want to get back that's the type of output that it will you know get to you so i liked how he was teaching us about you know, time wasters, that there's some things in our life that we constantly do that we could definitely eliminate in order to make sure that we are maximizing. So he got us to, you know, identify some of those things, honey, in our lives that we feel they can be automated or they can be, you know, made less repetitive in our lives. So as you see this book standing over here, so he said we must outline the five time consuming tasks in our lives right 
So here I come and how I implement. So I noticed that for me, the five things that, you know, I feel take most of my time, you know, is number one, cleaning, cleaning around the place. You know, you have to sweep, you have to wash your dishes, you have to wash your laundry. So I just feel like cleaning is a lot. Like I eat every day and now I must wash dishes every day all the time i'm like that takes a lot of time and i'd like to keep myself clean hence how constantly you know keep washing them and i do feel that you know they take a bit of time for me so the second thing is laundry guys laundry you have to wash you have to iron you have to pack i'm like i just need clean clothes okay i don't need to just i don't need to do it myself all right so those are one of the things that are taking time because currently like i don't have a machine and you know at home we usually have a helper so the helper is not here with me so i got to do my own things and i'm not happy about that part <laughs> so that's one of my things right moving on to number three things that waste my time guys doing your hair takes a long time and you know i like braids right so i'll be spending proper like three hours to like five hours in a hair salon every month. I'm like, yo, I could be recording a book. I could be reading a book. I could be implementing a book. So I feel like that does take a lot of time, you know, making sure you look on point. Actually, personal grooming, you know, nails done, clothes clean, you know, looking good and proper. That's one of the things that takes my time. Number four, social media takes a lot of my time because I like to have day job. I'm not doing it as often as I can or want to, but I do notice that that's one of the things that, you know, takes my time and it's not necessarily like the most efficient or bringing back the highest return. And then moving on to time waster, number five. You guys know I like to be healthy. So I usually go shopping every single weekend because you need fresh fruits and vegetables in order to sustain you for the week. So me having to go shopping every week actually takes a lot of time. So the question is, do I have to go shopping or can I pair it with something else that I don't have to waste my time on? So yes, those are the things that I identified. So he's like, bring through solutions, baby girl. Bring through a way in which you don't have to do this. So that's where I come in, right? And number one, in terms of cleaning, like these are plans we need to guys. That doesn't necessarily mean <laughs> I can do them now, but it's definitely one of the things that I'm looking forward to doing for sure. So number one, in terms of cleaning, I can't wait to buy a dishwasher. Like I even want to buy my mom a dishwasher because we've had it, guys, with, the, with these dishes. Four times a day, three times a day. This is guys. So automation would be buy a dishwasher. I don't want to do the dishes. Like, as long as they're clean, I mean, I'm cool. I'm not overly obsessive. It's not therapeutic. Like, I just need a, a washing machine. Or maybe, like, call somebody to clean, like, you know once a week or so because i can't afford a full-time cleaner right now so those are some of the things that i'm considering doing in my future so when it comes to laundry guys i'm not a fan like if somebody can do it for me by all means do come through so one of the things that you know can get me off the task number one is to take my clothes for laundry because i go to the gym on a daily basis almost on a daily basis Every day I change my clothes, so every week I have laundry to deal with. So if somebody could do that for me, I'd be more than happy or calling somebody, you know, um, to come and do it for me, I'm more than happy. What I like about that is they'll also do the ironing and, you know, the packing, I don't mind. I don't mind at all. It's almost if the heart by his time. So also another option is to like buy a washing machine um, washing machines are great, although the only thing left is the ironing. So maybe call in somebody once in a while because I do have quite a number of clothes so I can call for a reasonable period of time. So those are some of the things that, you know, I've considered in terms of like taking some things off that, you know, I could focus on, you know, the things I love to do, you know, things that I feel for me, you know, they bring like um, growth and happiness and the likes. So, number four, yeah, you know what, doing my hair, I don't know if there's a shortcut. I'm thinking of buying wigs though, 
because wigs wigs are the girl that you like wigs are the girl because you just put it on and move people don't understand i feel like so many people have been judged for wearing a wig but i'm ready for one at this point in my life i'm like i'm a volunteer please i will purchase one so as soon as i can y'all will see me you must know i've accomplished my goals because ah uh, three hours to five hours is not a child's play you could do a lot with that time honestly so yes number four social media so he suggested that you know checking mail all the time whenever you have an inbox you reply to it immediately that's a waste of time because the time it takes for you to get away from the task like and then come back it takes away your concentration so the the rate of you getting back to that high level of concentration again really really takes a while and it is highly affected as well so that's one of the things that we must look at in terms of like social media emails phone calls so he's like put those off you know after a certain period of time try to reply only at that time you reply to all the messages and people will just stop having meaningless conversations with you you know so i'm learning that it's a journey but i'm learning that i'm glad that i'm aware of it and i can't wait to implement it as well so last but not least shopping this one is an interesting one but i've actually discovered that um pick and pay has an app called bottles and it costs you like 35 rand. I don't know, when I checked, it was like 35 rand for somebody to buy you like stuff that I wanted. And I'm like, hmm, busy season, I could definitely use this. You know, just tell somebody to bring me some stuff. I don't have to walk to the shops to get stuff. Or I was actually thinking after the gym, instead of coming back here, bathing and then continuing with my day, having to then go out again to get, you know, some groceries, I could just, get them to deliver me some fresh fruits and veggies on a daily basis and once i find a proper buyer i could like have that be delivered on a consistent basis so yeah that's about the things that i learned in terms of automation i love love making my life simple i love love you know focusing on reading you know bringing you guys content you know uh, working studying you know those are the things that consume a lot of time in our lives that we cannot necessarily avoid so i'd like to invest my time there and when i relax i can properly relax without having to worry about them yet i know that these tasks these, these tasks are well taken care of anyway guys thank you so much please do share your tips on how you save your time as well remember to subscribe to my youtube channel like this video share it with your friends and i'm super super happy um, that you guys stayed tuned until now and i hope you'll enjoy this book um, for those it's mostly relevant for even if you want to learn a few tips you can definitely um if you're not an entrepreneur or somebody in that space or you want to get there this is a good book for you to read thank you so much guys